One River CIO Eric Peters is saying that China's best play is to let the U.S. stock market crash. This is interesting because they come out agreeing with Trump saying that he's right in a sense to where he says China cannot win a trade war. The back and forth will ultimately just hurt both countries and it's the people that suffer in the end regardless. But what he goes on to say here is that Xi Jinping can consolidate if things get rough in terms of markets. That they very well can do this. But for Trump, it is the opposite. The U.S. is far more exposed to a bear market. He says, and just like the U.S. debt ceiling standoffs, or just about any political standoff for that matter, the game is that things always have to get worse before they get better. And he goes on to talk about how he views where businesses are going. And then he kind of expands on that. He sees how that prosperity is affecting others and how it affects others from there and how that grows and spawns out. He also does the reverse in seeing how downfalls of big companies can affect people, so on and so forth. So as he sees it now, in terms of these two going back and forth, he sees it in the end that China's best bet is to just let the U.S. dollar slowly crumble and crash. You're not talking about something that's going to happen overnight. You're talking about a slow process where they're going to milk it out, where slowly gas will rise, food items will rise, you, you will start to see chaos in the streets. This is what they would be hoping for. And in my opinion, it's part of a bigger plan anyhow. And it has been. The downfall of the U.S. dollar. And who is positioned to gain the most if the U.S. dollar falls? China. So, at this point, it will be interesting to see uh, what happens in terms of any tariffs or trade wars or if they just completely back off. Let's not forget the first thing that Trump had targeted was solar. I'm going to leave a link. I will update with more as things change. It's been Dabu7.